In this video, I'll show you how to create an NPC in Roblox and add animations to it. Additionally, you'll learn how to set up custom waypoints that your NPC can utilize, the Pathfinding System 2.0. Get ready for an exciting journey full of creativity and innovation. The script first creates variables to store the status of animations and the character's mode. It then defines functions to toggle animations and change the character's mode. It loads animations, defines a function to deal damage, and attaches an event to cause Demi when the chair doctor is touched. If you enjoy these videos, let me know by subscribing to this channel for free and leaving a like. Let's get started right away. As a first step, you need to add a Roblox R15 character to your game world. I do this with the Rig Builder plugin, but you can also do it yourself using Avatar and Rig Builder, of course. Then you rename your dummy to NPC. I'll name it NPC. You need to add a script to the R15 character and insert the following code, which I'll link to you in the video description. This script controls the behavior of a character in a Roblox environment. It allows toggling animations on and off, as well as selecting a mode in which the character follows waypoints. It also includes functions for dealing damage to other characters and moving the character to defint waypoints. The script repeats these actions as long as certain conditions are met. To create waypoints for your NPC, simply add a part. Then adjust its size and set it to one how one marikomwa one. Next, disable can collide, can query, and can touch. Set the transparency to one so that the part is not visible. Finally, rename it to one for the first waypoint. Then duplicate it and name it two. Two for the second waypoint. Group these parts into a model and then name that model waypoints. As you can see here, the script references the workspace and is also defined as waypoints, depending on what you name the model containing the waypoints. So if you have multiple NPCs, you'll need to give different names to the waypoints as well. I'll quickly change the walk speed of the humanoid to eight, then click on and add an animation. I will copy the animation from the toolbox because it takes too much time to do that now. You can make your own animations when you want. I play the animation on the character by going to the animation editor and selecting the humanoid. Then I load the animation, which is already in a folder called Anim Saves. I upload this to Roblox and copy its ID. Later, we'll paste this ID into the animation property we created earlier under the script. I made a mistake in the script. You need to add a space before four in line 66. Similarly, after 4 and before idle. Also, in line 23, you need to add a colon after script. So it should be script, wait for child, animation. Of course, you'll find the script again in my video description. As you can see, the NPC moves along the waypoints we've set. Al can adjust in the script how much damage someone should receive when they touch it. Or you can make it so there's no damage at all. Rename the animation we added to the script to Animation and create a second one named Animation Tool. You can then insert the animation we created earlier by uploading it into Animation. I'm adding a sprint animation to my NPC now. I'll follow the same steps as before. As I mentioned earlier, you can also create the animations yourself. Finally, you need to add the animation to the script. You do this by repeatedly copying the first line and defining the respective animation names exactly as they are named in the workspace under the script. Don't forget the comma at the end, otherwise it won't work. As you can see, the NPC moves in different animations. First, it walks, and then it sprints. I'll now do the same with my character by adding the script and properly defining the waypoints model. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.